There's a quote from Picasso, it's inspiration exists, but it has to find you working. The more my hands are moving, the more I'm painting, the more creativity and inspiration happens. Nature has always been an inspiration for me, so it's kind of naturally fallen into place that I've been more drawn to a landscape as an adult painter because it's just been a place of solace for me ever since I was a kid. One of the reasons why I love art so much is that it allows a lot of freedom and I think that the landscape really, really opens itself and lends itself to a lot of interpretation. A lot of my paintings are memories of a good day, whether it's skinning up Pico or, or sometimes even just like out on the trail with my dogs. It's great to relive them in that way. When someone looks at my work, I hope that it inspires them to get outside and play or to get into painting. A lot of us think of plein air as, you know, someone sitting on a sunny country mountainside and everything's working fine. And in reality, most of the times it's pretty chaotic. You can get all set up and things can flow really well. All of a sudden, a giant gust of wind comes out of nowhere and it takes all of your materials or it, it throws a branch at you or something. <laughs> but that's part of the draw of it. I think we should all do things that are way out of our comfort zone and that is definitely one for me because you really have to work fast and you kind of have to use your own intuition and anticipate colors that are happening which also creates just incredible results within your painting for especially like brush strokes and color there's a freshness that you get with plein air that is kind of hard to mimic within the studio when you when you have all the time in the world being able to go to a special place and create a painting and have that locked in and paint is a really unique and collectible thing. I actually have a little more of an attachment to the pieces that I've hiked up a mountain and skied down with. You know, there's a little bit of adrenaline there. It's so funny because lately when I've been doing it, it feels like I'm getting away with something. I feel like, do I really get to do this? It's the same kind of thrill that I feel going down a mountain bike trail that's very challenging. It's kind of an addictive thing. 